for Universal. Check it out. Universal. All right, looks like we are going through. I don't think we're gonna have to pay for parking. I, at least I hope. Yay, we didn't have to pay for parking. All right, at least I hope so. You never know with the Universal. We are in King Kong. Alrighty guys, time for our complimentary metal detector scan. It's gonna be so much fun. Thanks Universal for the complimentary metal detectors. It's all free. They upgraded everything, it looks pretty new. Alrighty guys, we are now at Universal Orlando Resort right now and I'm going to get cowfish for the first time. I've never had cowfish before, but I've been wanting to go to cowfish for so long. So I'm finally doing that tonight. Last time I was here, it was actually closed for a private event. So I ended up at two sub, which was still nice. That was like, that was cool. But I'm glad to finally be here at Universal Orlando Resort to get some cowfish, which is a really good restaurant. So I got a new uh, phone screen like last week. I dropped it here last time, completely shattered. That was my fault. Drop my phone. Oh. Oh my God. God, no. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. No. Damn it, I've never cracked my phone before. Damn it. Are you kidding me, that just happened, ah. Uh. Damn it, guys. I've never, are you kidding me? So guess where I am today? I'm in the Mall of Millennia. But why am I here? Well, I never planned on coming here. But yesterday at Universal, this happened. The whole screen is all cracked and it's all messed up. I've never dropped my phone ever in history. This has never happened. So it sucks. Anyways, Universal, they have a Starbucks here. We're going to Cowfish right now. It's gonna be really good. And Cowfish basically has burgers and sushi. Uh, that's where they get their name, Cow, kind of it's the burger part and then the sushi um, is the fish so they make really good burgers and sushi it's right here right when you enter city walk and it is also right next to vivo which I've heard is a really good Italian restaurant I'll have to check that out on my next visit but like I said we're here cowfish sushi burger bar <laughs> So this is the inside of Cowfish. It's kind of spicy. And then the, uh... So I'm going to show you guys kind of what's on their menu. They're really known for sushi. I was thinking about going with this California rolls. It's only $8, so that's not too bad. And then um, there's some more different rolls that you can get. And then on this side, they have the burgers. I might also go with this burger, the uh, CBCLT. It's a beef burger with cheddar cheese, some bacon, some more cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, all that kind of stuff. I might get some sweet potato fries along with that, which here are the different sides. They get You can get regular french fries, sweet potato fries, uh, vegetables, all that kind of cool stuff. And so yeah, I think I'm just going to go with, where is it, that burger and then the California rolls. But they have so many different like burgers on their menu. I mean, so many good choices. But uh, yeah, you can also get milkshakes and desserts. I was actually thinking about getting like a mint chocolate chip milkshake if they have it, but we'll see. Oh, you know, I love mac and cheese. I might actually have to get some of that. We will see. Yeah, there are so many good things on their menu. So I don't know what to get, really. So it looks like we have like a third floor to cowfish. There's a couple different floors. Uh, they don't really have a first floor. Like they have some outdoor seating, but um, you have to actually walk upstairs to like, like be on the second floor is where um, they sit most people. Looks like this is the third floor. Pretty cool. Yeah guys, so this is the upstairs area of cowfish. Um, I didn't really want to show you guys the downstairs because it's kind of loud down there. Plus, uh, like it's full but this is you know the upstairs um, it looks very nice I like the theming it's different than most of the Universal like venues I've been to to some which is very different than this but I've heard like the burgers are better here and we can see downstairs which is like we're sitting like right there it's pretty cool 
how you can like see the downstairs area. We got some more seating. Whoa, check this out. This is super cool. So like there's this like private room. So I guess people rent out this place. Um, so people can like close the curtains and like rent out this room. And then check out this view. Like this is City Walk right down here. That's super cool. Oh, and you can actually see Tufsum. Wow, yeah, so I know where we are. We're like the big tower. Okay, so you can see Tufsum right here from Cowfish, and that's where I ate. It's a very popular place. It's a new place that just opened. But again, very popular. A lot of people like that place. Um, honestly, I didn't think their shakes, dare I say, I did not think their shakes were that great. I didn't think it was that great, but the burger was awesome at Tufsum, so yeah. And then check this out. Vivo, right down there. Yeah, so again, this is the upstairs area of Cowfish. I've never been up here before. I've never even been inside this restaurant. Every time I come here, long waits. But yeah, like I said, very cool restaurant. They have like, I guess, cows hanging from the ceiling. And then directly below, it's where we are. We're like one of those tables. Yeah, there's my bag right there. <laughs> That's funny. Anyways, yeah. So, um, again, yeah, like I said, it's cowfish right here. It's cool. And yeah, that is the rest of City Walk. You can actually see Hulk from here. If I do a little zoom in, yep, there's Hulk. It's closed right now because it's like 11. Park is closed. But. Yeah, City Walk just looks so cool. Uh, honestly, I think um, City Walk is pretty on par with Disney Springs. I think Disney Springs might be a little bit better just because of the new upgrades, but City Walk is still pretty cool. All right, it is time to go downstairs right now and have some of my burger and sushi. It's gonna be good. I heard the burgers are ginormous here and the burger I ordered has so much on it, so. I don't know if I can eat it all. Hopefully though, with all the sushi, it might be a lot of food. There's the cow and the fish. Cowfish. I'm so confused by this. This lady has a bunch of burgers. Is there like medicine or, or something? She's like a big lady and she's like eating too many burgers. Like, no, that, why you, why you have so many burgers, lady? Like, that's ridiculous. This is the outdoor area of cowfish. It's definitely more lively out here. So this is the grasshopper shake. It has some cool like chocolates up there. It looks very similar to like the Tufsum shakes because the Tufsum uses a very similar container. I think this is glass though, not plastic. But it looks very similar. Uh, major difference with Tufsum is that they put like stuff, more stuff on the top of it, usually. But this is it. And then this is the sushi right here. So this is like some kind of tuna thing, looks cool. And then I got the burger right here with sweet potato fries. And then again, some sushi, looks pretty good. Michael got like a burger with french fries, looks good. Anyways guys, I'm gonna dig in. This cheeseburger looks awesome. Uh, it basically has cheddar cheese, white cheddar cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, some bacon, crispy onions. I got the crispy onions instead of the regular onions. And I got, I opted out of the regular french fries, which look like that. I got the sweet potato french fries. It was like only 50, uh, 50 cents more. And here are the California avocado rolls, which comes with, looks like sashimi, or is that what it's called? And then wasabi right there. But man, that looks awesome, guys. Holy moly, that looks so good. I will let you guys know how it is. That burger looks ginormous, and it just all looks delicious. So this is what she ordered, but she wanted the cooked uh, tuna. So keep in mind, if you order it, it comes as raw but you can actually request it to be cooked. All right, I'm gonna eat it now. This looks awesome. It's so big, like look at my hand. That's a big burger. Oh my gosh, guys. I gotta say, sweet potato fries, awesome. The texture tastes awesome. The, Sushi is really good too. Flavor is great. I'm gonna try the burger. I'll let, I'll let you guys know 
what it's like. Well, cowfish was awesome. I give it a thumbs up if I can. Yeah, thumbs up. Cowfish was really good. Um, I enjoyed it. I actually got some of it to go because I'm so full, but it is awesome. Highly recommend it. It's actually better than Tucson, in my opinion. If you want a good burger, you you gotta come to Cowfish. Don't go to Tucson if you want a good burger. I mean, yeah, Tucson still has good burgers, but if you want a really good burger, Cowfish is the place to go. Same with the shakes. I think it's better than Tucson, in my opinion. I just think it's better quality here. Universal! And it didn't come, it only came up to like 24 for the sushi and the burger. So that's just kind of like how expensive it is. It's not that expensive. But just wanted to, you know, show you guys. Here is Cowfish. It looks great. So yeah, like I said, awesome place. If you want a good burger or even good sushi, I'd come here. Um, honestly, it is really good. And uh, there are some days though where there will be a longer wait. We showed up on a weeknight at like 10.30. We got right in. We didn't have to wait at all. There's also like this outside bar area. So uh, Universal is like lit. Like look, at this is Universal on a weeknight. It's crazy. It's like so lit here. Anyways, yeah, again, this is Universal at night. Cowfish, that was awesome. Thumbs up. And we're gonna go down this like escalator here to get back to the car. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I didn't go to the theme park, obviously. I mean, I'm not feeling that great, but we wanted to go get dinner. I've never been to Cowfish. Uh, we finally made it happen. I can now say I've been to Cowfish. I've been to Tucson. I'm gonna start checking out more of the Universal restaurants, because honestly, Universal has some pretty cool restaurants. Maybe next time I'll come to this place, Red Oven Pizza Bakery. I know it's a pretty popular place here, uh, but yeah. Many of the new restaurants here uh, get really good rankings. So, you know, if you're ever at Universal, um, the food here is good. It really is good. I don't know about the food inside the theme park, but at City Walk, restaurants are good. So yeah, like I said, they have like a movie theater cinema right here too. It's pretty cool. <laughs> this is so old fashioned. Look, there's a guy up there replacing the signage. <laughs> That's so funny. I don't, I've never seen it before. Um, it's crazy because like they should just put like a TV screen up there and automatically digitally do it so they wouldn't have to actually manually do it. I don't know, it's universal though. Anyways though, universal. Anyways, yeah, I'm leaving Universal Orlando Resort right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this like quick little uh, cowfish video. It is time to now leave a Universal Orlando Resort. I had a good dinner here, like I said. Pretty cool. Is that a GoPro on the, oh no, I was about to say. Oh, the Brazilians and their flags. Universal. Universal, good night. Good night, Universal. Universal is building a new entrance right off of I-4. It's probably gonna be for Volca Volcano Bay, I'm guessing. But for Vol Volcano Bay, they're not going to have parking. They're going to actually have people park in the main regular Universal Orlando Resort theme park parking garages. And then they're going to have a tram of some sort that takes you over. Okay, guys, I'm going to get an awesome view of some of the construction for Volcano Bay. They have some lighting going on. They are doing construction work tonight. And it looks cool. Check that out, guys. Look at all that construction stuff going on. Wow. And there's the Orlando Eye, if you guys can see. Somehow I ended up on Walt Disney World property. What time is it? 12, 10 a.m. But check it out. It's Disney World. Yeah. Disney World. Woo. Disney World. Yeah. See you real soon. It's the Disney World sign. Yeah.